बिसमीम् अल्लाम वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लास फॉर ग्रेड टेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज़ द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ योर बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज और द टाइटल ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज एसिड्स बेसिस एंड सॉस तो द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज एसिड्स बेसिस एंड सॉस As we know that different compounds, either organic and inorganic, are classified into three distinct classes of compounds, and they are actually categorized by these names like acids, bases, and salts. And a famous Muslim chemist, Jabir bin Hayyan, first of all prepared what was the name of scientist Jabir bin Hayyan. He was very famous for discovering and preparing three different acids. Number one, nitric acid, it having formula HNO three. Then sulfuric acid H two SO four, H two SO four, and the third acid is hydrochloric acid HCl. So. He is famous for discovering all these acids. Not only this, but there are lot of other contribution of this scientist in the field of biology and different other fields of sciences as well. Then we have the next scientist related to the discovery of acid bases and some salts. That in seventeen hundred and eighty seven, Lavoisier. What is the name of scientist? Lavoisier, who named binary compounds of oxygen such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. So, his invention is related to the binary compound of oxygens, oxygen atom, and oxygen basically combined with. different elements to make the binary compound how for example carbon combine carbon atom combines to oxygen or with oxygen to form carbon dioxide in the similar manner sulfur combines with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide so on dissolution or in dissolving these compound that is carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide in water they gave acidic solutions so it can be clear that these compounds are dissolving or after dissolving in water in this manner they are actually forming acid and which acid is formed in this case is h2co3 that is carbonic acid and if Sulfur dioxide gets dissolved in water. It forms H two S O three, that is sulfurous acid, not the sulfuric acid. After these two scientists, that is Jabir bin Hayyan and Sir, even you can call it Lavoisier. There is a third scientist who uh, he, who was very famous in his contribution, Sir Humphrey. Sir Humphrey Davy. So, what was the contribution of this scientist, Sir Humphrey Davy? He discovered that there are certain acids which are without oxygen. For example, hydrochloric acid does not contain oxygen. while lavoisier told about that acids are those substances which are the binary compounds of oxygen but in this case we can see that oxygen is not present and even it is an acid not only this but also he proved the presence of hydrogen as the main constituent of all acids so finally after the discovery of hydrochloric acid sir humphrey davy proved that hydrogen must be present in any acid otherwise that acid will not be called acid according to lavoisier if 
an acid contains the binary compounds of oxygen then that substance will be called acid but it was it was negated or rejected by sir humphry davy now there are some other concept he proposed about the bases as well that what are bases so all water soluble metallic oxides if turned which litmus paper that is the red litmus paper red color litmus paper into blue blue litmus paper or blue color then this represent or this shows that the given substance in which we have dipped the litmus paper is base so this will become another property of acid and bases that we are actually having some types of litmus paper having two colors red and blue in our labs in our chemistry labs these litmus papers turn blue from the red while we are dipping them in base but reverse process will occur that blue color of the litmus paper will change back into the red one when it is dipped in acids so this is the clear difference which he was found out afterwards there are different other techniques and different other words and the terminologies were discovered by different scientists for example the word acid is derived first from the latin word word acid is derived from its latin word and what is the, this latin word this latin word is acidus acidus what is the meaning of acidus acidus mean sour tush khatta jise aap kehte hain zuban ko lagne wala tush and the first acid known to man was acetic acid and अगर आपसे कहा जाए कि कौन सा एसिड था जो इंसानों को पता था और उसका यूज भी वो बखूबी जानते थे सो दैट वाज एसिटिक एसिड दैट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ विनेगर दे आर नॉर्मली एंड दे वर यूजिंग इन देयर पास्ट एज वेल विनेगर एंड व्हाट इज विनेगर नॉर्मली इट इज कॉल्ड सिरका इसे क्या कहा जाता है उर्दू में सिरका जो कि उमूमा खानों में इस्तेमाल भी किया जाता है फॉर फ्लेवरिंग and not only for flavoring but also used to prevent your food that is it is normally used to preventing prevention of your food as well as to add flavor to your food after this brief introduction of acid and bases we also know that all of us have a little concentration or amount of hydrochloric acid in our body which as it is present in our body hydro chloric acid this acid is actually present in our stomach this acid hamare maide mein paya jata hai where what is the function of this hydrochloric acid it actually performs two important function number 1 it breaks down the food that helps in the process of digestion it breaks down the food and also it kills the germs which are present in our body or entering in our body through mouth or through food so kills germs as well now if we will concentrate on the first function of hydrochloric acid which actually helps to break down the food so sometimes the amount of stomach acid becomes too much which causes acidity in our stomach so what happens sometimes when hydrochloric acid is exceeded too much in the stomach then there is a condition occurs which is called acidity jise urdu mein aap tezabiyat kehte hain tezabiyat hona ya jalan ka hona ya seene mein jalan hona 
Now the uncomfortable condition or feeling is easily treated by taking an alkaline medicine. अब जब आप डॉक्टर के पास जाते हैं तो आपको वो एक ट्रीटमेंट जो है वो प्रिस्क्राइब करता है एंड दैट ट्रीटमेंट इज़ रिलेटेड टू द एल्कलाइन मेडिसिन दैट एल्कलाइन मेडिसिन इज़ नॉर्मली यूज टू ट्रीट द एसिडिटी प्रेजेंट इन द स्टमिक ड्यू टू द इंक्रीज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इट इज़ एन अनकम्फर्टेबल कंडीशन सो देर फॉर यू हैव टू टेक सम रिलीफ बाय टेकिंग दिस एल्कलाइन सोल्यूशन सो हेयर नेक्स्ट we are deriving the next term that is related to the bases and now we are calling it alkali so basically the alkaline word is actually derived from alkali and alkali neutralizes this acid that is hydrochloric acid and reduces the effect of this acid which is responsible for causing acidity so basically producing a harmless chemical which is called a salt so here comes the third substance which we are going to discuss in chapter so side by side i have discussed all these substances that the acid which is present in stomach that is called hydrochloric acid and the too much amount of hydrochloric acid in stomach causes acidity this acidity can be treated by using alkaline solution alkaline means that the word comes from alkali and alkali are the solution form of bases what are bases and alkali bases are the solid substances while alkali are the solution or liquid form of bases and when finally the person gets this alkaline solution as medicine or as prescription that is normally given by the doctor then what happens a reaction takes place in the body between the acid and alkali and by the reaction of acid with alkali a new substance is formed in your body which is called a salt so this is the short summary or introduction of the whole chapter in which we you are going to study acids bases that is alkali and salts as well after introduction the next topic is about the concepts of acids and bases which were proposed by different chemists in which the three chemists were famous and are famous to us and today in this lesson i'm going to explain not only the characteristics of acids and bases but also the first concept of acids and bases as well so before going in further detail first you have to write down the basic characteristics properties characteristic properties of acids and bases so what are acids that will be another question but we have to find out the answer of some basic properties of acids and bases so starting from properties of acids acids have first sour taste sour taste what type of taste is it taste which is found in some of the citrus or unripe citrus fruit or lemon juice jis tarike se tursh ka lafz humne istemal kiya ki ye tursh ya khatte hote hain yani acid agar taste kiye jaye to inka taste kaisa hota hai ki ye khatte hote hain tursh hote hain aur tursh zaike wali zyada tar jo cheeze aap istemal karte hain unme kacche phal aur kacche rasdar phal और इसके अलावा लीम या लेमन वगैरह भी शामिल हैं देन वी हैव नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी रिलेटेड टू द लिटमस सोल्यूशन और लिटमस पेपर नॉर्मली एसिड टर्न्स ब्लू लिटमस पेपर ब्लू लिटमस इंटू रेड इंटू रेड नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द एसिड इज 
they are very corrosive in concentrated form what is the meaning of corrosive that they can irritate or burn your skin if present in concentrated or pure form agar khuda na khasta bahut hi pure form mein aapke haath par एसिड गिर जाए तो ये आपके हाथ को जला भी सकता है यानी इसमें इतना असर होता है कि आपकी स्किन जो है वो बर्न हो सकती है नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज देर एक्व सोल्यूशन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट सो दे आर द गुड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एज वेल एज हीट यू कैन से सो दे आर गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ना कम टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज बेसिस सो वी विल फॉलो द सेम पॉइंट्स फॉर द बेसिस एज वेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फर्स्ट पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग द एसिड इज टेस्ट सो वॉट अबाउट द टेस्ट ऑफ बेसिस बेसिस हैव बिटर टेस्ट और इस मीनिंग ऑफ बिटर कड़वा इनका टेस्ट कैसा होता है ये कड़वे होते हैं कड़वा टेस्ट होता है एंड ऑल्सो दे फील वेरी स्लिपरी टू टच अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट इफ यू विल फील दैट इफ यू टच द बेस इट विल फील स्लिपरी दे आर स्लिपरी टू टच छूने पर ये इस तरह से होते हैं जैसे आपके हाथ में कोई स्लिपरी सोप आ जाए अगर साबुन आपके हाथ में आ जाए और आपके हाथ से फिसलना शुरू हो जाए तो बिल्कुल बेसिस भी इसी तरह का टेक्सचर रखती हैं फॉर एग्जांपल सोप के अलावा आपके पास और भी ऐसे बहुत सारी एग्जांपल्स हैं जिनमें स्लिपरी यानी फिसलने वाली एक टच होती है लेकिन सबसे बेस्ट एग्जांपल आप इसमें सोप देंगे बिकॉज सोप इज मेड अप ऑफ बेसिस नाउ व्हाट अबाउट द लिटमस और इफेक्ट ऑफ दीज बेसिस ऑन द लिटमस सॉल्यूशन सो दे टर्न रेड लिटमस सॉल्यूशन और पेपर इनटू ब्लू व्हिच इज अगेंस्ट और ऑपोजिट टू एसिड इन विच द एसिड टर्न्स ब्लू लिटमस इंटू रेड In most of the cases, they are non-corrosive, except basically ज़्यादातर जो बेसिस होती हैं वो नॉन क्रॉसिव होती हैं यानी स्किन के लिए इतनी इरीटेटिंग नहीं होती बट इन कॉन्सनट्रेटेड फॉर्म जो कि हमारे पास एक एग्जाम्पल है सोडियम हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड और साथ साथ पोटेशियम हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड सो दीज टू बेसिस आर वेरी क्रॉसिव इन नेचर अनदर पॉइंट अबाउट द लास्ट थिंग दैट गुड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट और नॉट सो दे आर एक्व सोल्यूशन अगेन आई मस्ट से दैट दे आर ऑल्सो द गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट बिकॉज दे कैन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट थ्रू देयर एक्व सोल्यूशन विच इज प्रिपेयर इन वॉटर So what is aqueous solution the solution of bases in water that whenever you will dissolve a base into water then it will be called an alkali and this alkaline solution of bases is the good conductor of electric current but in aqueous solution form now i'm going to start the concepts of acids and bases and the first concept in front of us is arrhenius concept of acid and base so first introduction heading is introduction in fact arrhenius discovered the concept of acid and bases in 1787 he gave statement about acid and bases in this manner that first i am going to define the acid and then base so first statement about the acid is what is an acid 
an acid is a substance acid is a substance which is dissociate or dissolve what's the meaning of dissociate dissolve or after dissol dissolution or dissolving broken down into its respective components so acid is a substance which dissociate in aqueous solution what is the meaning of aqueous solution watery solution aqueous solution mean watery solution to give or produce hydrogen ions hydrogen ions that is h positive ions so this is the definition of an acid according to arrhenius who was the chemist and described his concept of acid and bases in 1787 and according to him the statement of acid is it is a substance which dissociates in aqueous solution to produce hydrogen ion acid ek aisa substance hai ek aisi thing hai aisa aisa aapke paas compound hai jo ke agar pani mein dissolve kare to wo pani mein hal hone ke baad tootta hai aur tootne ke baad aapko hydrogen ion jo hai wo provide karta hai examples of acid proposed by arrhenius are given here now so first example in the form of general reaction so example given in front of you in the form of general equation how you will make the general chemical equation as an example of acid so this will become your next heading general chemical equation according to it in general the ionization of acid take place as follows suppose it is an acid ha in which the hydrogen ion is present along with other atom or element and what happen during a reversible reaction in the presence of water that when what when acid is dissolved in water it dissociate that it it is broken down into its respective ions in which the hydrogen ion has positive uh, charge on it while the second element has negative charge on it so this is the simple dissociation of the acid into water some of the examples which you are going to follow from this general chemical equation are for example hydrochloric acid in which H represent the hydrogen ion in in the general chemical equation, while the Cl represent or A represent Cl. Again, you will apply the same reversible process, and after dissolution in water, it produces two types of ions. First is hydrogen ion, and the second one is chloride ion. Not only this, you can also give some other examples. with some other acids as well like nitric acid when dissolve in water it dissociate into its respective ions for example hydrogen ion along with nitrate ion along with nitrate ion then we have acetic acid which is also called vinegar or sirka in urdu so this acetic acid whenever dissolved in water it dissociate into its acetate ion as well as hydrogen ion so these are some of the examples of acids according to arrhenius concept of acids now in the same concept of arrhenius he also proposed the definition of bases after acids 
तो वॉट आर बेसिस अकॉर्डिंग टू आर हीस बेसिस इज दैर सबस्टांस इट इज द सबस्टांस विच एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूसिस विच डिसोसिएट्स यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट विच डिसोसिएट इन एक्व सोल्यूशन और द वॉटरी सोल्यूशन to produce to produce hydroxide ion or hydroxyl ions hydroxide ions and these ions can be represented in the form of symbols oh negative so basically according to arrhenius base kya hai बेस एक ऐसी चीज़ है एक ऐसा कंपाउंड है जो अगर पानी में हल किया जाए और पानी में हल करने के बाद उसे देखा जाए तो वो अपने अपने जो रिस्पेक्टिव एलिमेंट्स या आइंस होते हैं उनमें टूट जाता है डिसोसिएट का मतलब है टूट जाता है और टूटने के बाद ये फिर हाइड्रोक्साइड आइन प्रोड्यूस करता है विच इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ बेस अकॉर्डिंग टू आर्नियस क्योंकि आर्नियस कहते हैं कि एसिड वो सबस्टांस है जो जो कि हाइड्रोजन आयन कंटेन करता है जबकि बेसिस वो सबस्टांसेस हैं जो हाइड्रो ऑक्जिल आइंस यानी हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड आइंस प्रोड्यूस करते हैं नाउ द जनरल आयनाइजेशन रिएक्शन फॉर दिस जनरल आयनाइजेशन रिएक्शन फॉर एसिड्स और यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट जनरल केमिकल इक्वेजन What is the meaning of ionization? Conversion or break breakdown of any compound into its ion is called ionization. For example, here I can take the example BOH. Suppose B is base and hydroxyl that is OH ions are the part of this base. So when you will dissolve this base into water then it dissociates into its respective ion in which the first ion is b positive while the second ion is oh negative this general ionization reaction indicates that this b is basically the base and while this is the property of base that it contains hydroxyl ions in it some further examples of bases according to arrhenius according to arrhenius are for example sodium hydroxide so when sodium hydroxide dissolves in water it produces or dissociate into its respective ions which are sodium ions na positive plus hydroxide or hydroxyl ions having negative charge on it in the similar manner another example is calcium hydroxide so in a reversible process or reaction whenever you dissolve calcium hydroxide in water it produces two types of ions having calcium 2 positive plus hydroxyl or hydroxyl ions having two moles in it after balancing the equation so these are some of the examples of acids as well as bases now here we can conclude that is conclusion for the final statement so what is this statement or the full statement of arrhenius about acids and bases so thus according to arrhenius concept what are acids acids normally give rise or gives or acids give hydrogen ion in water while the bases give or produce 
hydroxyl ions hydroxyl ions in water as a result of arrhenius concept another topic and the last topic of today's lesson is the limitation limitation of arrhenius concept now what is the meaning of this topic are uh, that is the limitation of arrhenius concept of acid and bases that some scientists some chemists prove that the arrhenius concept of acid and bases are some water is some what wrong because he failed to explain some of the important point in his concept so this therefore we can say what are the limitation limitation mean some of the objections which were against arrhenius now what is the first one in first we can say that this concept is only applicable for the aqueous medium and does not explain the nature of the substances both acid and bases in non aqueous medium so always we have found in this concept that arrhenius always took acid and base and dissociate into the water always which indicates that only the aqueous medium aqueous solution was used but the nature of acid and bases cannot be explained cannot be uh, actually told in case of non aqueous solution so is is it possible or he was trying to say that acid and bases are not workable or they are not applicable in the non aqueous medium so it can't be happened so this is the first objection on the arrhenius concept so what was this concept it is about the aqueous and non aqueous medium non aqueous medium now i am explaining it in urdu once again for you basically arrhenius ke concept par jo unhone acid aur bases ke liye pesh kiye bahut sare objections aaye jinko humne yahan likha hai limitations ye limitations kya thi ye had kya thi jis par arrhenius ke concept ko reject kar diya gaya to isme sabse pehle arrhenius ye kehte hain ke जो एसिड्स और बेसिस होते हैं वो पानी में हल होने के बाद डिसोसिएट होते हैं टूटते हैं और टूटने के बाद अपने रिस्पेक्टिव आइंस यानी पॉजिटिव आइन और नेगेटिव आइंस में अलग अलग हो जाते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू आर्नियस उन्होंने अपने पूरे कॉन्सेप्ट के अंदर नॉन एक्स मीडियम का कोई जिक्र नहीं किया वो शायद सिर्फ एसिड और बेसिस को पानी में डिजोल्व करके ही बता सकते थे कि ये एसिड और ये बेस है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्शन नाउ द सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू आर्नियस कॉन्सेप्ट एसिड एंड बेसिस आर ओनली दोज कंपाउंड्स व्हिच कंटेन्स हाइड्रोजन आइन एंड दीज हाइड्रोजन आइन आर इन द केस ऑफ एसिड्स दैट if an acid has hydrogen ions in it then it will be called an acid otherwise it will not an acid while in case of base hydroxyl ions must be present in the base otherwise it is no more a base in fact it is wrong why it is wrong because it can't explain the nature of compound like carbon dioxide ammonia and so many other compounds as well so these compounds are actually also called acids either they have hydrogen ions or hy- hydroxide ion or not for example how how you will prove it that carbon dioxide and ammonia have their nature acid as well as base respectively for example if you will dissolve 
carbon dioxide in water then it produces an acid called H2CO3 which is carbonic acid in the similar manner another compound that is ammonia if this compound dissolves in water it forms ammonium hydroxide which is actually a base so by the formation of carbonic acid and ammonium hydroxide it is clear that these substances that is the carbon dioxide and ammonia are actually acids and bases respectively so the second point indicates that arrhenius concept is wrong in which he was pointing out that acid must contain hydrogen ion while the ba base should have hydro hydroxide ions in them so this is the end of today's lesson afterwards you must know about some formula of acids and bases that will be given on your book or in your book page number 10.1 so you have to memorize those formula of acids and bases as well thank you so much for listening allah hafiz